Peace family, um, this video is dedicated to those of you that have interlocks, microlocks, sister locks, or maintain your locks with interlocking. As your digital optician, I felt the need to address a common question. What's going to happen to my locks if I'm not getting my retightening on schedule? And it's definitely something that needs to be addressed. One, to help put your mind at ease and to also give you some tips for um, managing your locks at home. So if you maintain your locks with interlocking and you're wanting to know what's going to happen with this extended retightening schedule, stay tuned. If you have sister locks, one of the first things you probably have heard during your consultation, in your research, or just with talking to other women with sister locks, you have to stay on schedule. Your schedule is very important. I go get my hair done every four weeks. I get my hair done every six weeks. I get my hair done every five weeks or whatever your retiring schedule is. More than likely, you're, you're on a schedule, you've been on a schedule. Now we're in a situation where you probably cannot honor that schedule and you are freaking out. I know I would be freaking out if I had sister locks. It's like, I've always gone six weeks. I can't go six weeks. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Relax. That's the first thing I want you to do is relax. Especially because stress, it manifests in our hair and that can cause thinning, weakness, um, and ultimately lead to breakage. And with sister locks, your locks are already really fine. So we don't even have the space to add on that layer of stress. So just calm down. A few steps that you can take because you will be okay going in an extended amount of time um, is to minimize styling. I would suggest that if you are somebody who's doing styles, you know, every week, um, every other day, um, just doing styles because it feels good because you can just calm those styles down for a little while or do a style that can last something like a braid out or a twist out or curls versus manipulating your hair every day. Because when you start manipulating your hair, you can create slippage, which would further loosen the roots, especially if you are off schedule. So minimize any styling. Uh, the next thing that I would encourage you to do is make sure that you are cleansing, so shampooing your hair. This is gonna be your um, biggest source of moisture. And then making sure, it's very important that you're separating all of your locks. You don't want to allow your locks to mat together because once it's time for your retightening, getting those locks apart can lead to thinning. So making sure you're keeping them separated is really, really important. Okay. Got a special guest. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Now, if you have micro locks or just locks maintained with interlocking, those tips apply to you but also I would say, if you feel comfortable, invest in an interlocking tool and try to maintain your finer areas, like your hairline or your nape, those areas that are more prone to slippage and thinning. Um, if you're hesitant because you're like, I've never interlocked my hair, I don't wanna mess it up, I don't wanna cause problems, very, very, very valid concerns because we all know that interlocking does not cause damage. It's more than likely the technique that causes the damage. I have created a course, Interlocking Fundamentals, that will walk you through step by step how to interlock your hair properly. What that looks like, what the patterns look like, what the tool options are. If you're interested in that, um, workshop, I've linked it below. If you're not comfortable at all with interlocking your own hair, again, it's okay, but make, just make sure that you're still cleansing, moisturizing, keeping your locks separated, and that you're minimizing uh, your styling, okay? So I hope these tips were helpful and um, kind of ease some of the anxiety that you may be feeling. If you have any other concerns, 
definitely feel free to drop your questions below in the comment section and I will do my very best to address each and every one of those if not in a um, response in an upcoming video so yeah thanks for watching and I'm sending you peace love and good vibes <laughs>